We'll take you to the fisheries industry because the Minister of Fisheries and Aquaculture wants stakeholders to invest more in that sector. Why? Have a listen. There is an increasing demand for fish in the country by the public, though its supply is mostly a challenge. Fisher folk have on several occasions complained about the difficulties they go through in getting bumper harvest to feed fish lovers. The Ministry of Fisheries and Aquaculture Development, as part of measures to address the issue of dwindling fish stock in the country, introduced close season periods that are implemented annually. In a City News interview ahead of a fish festival to be held in Accra, the Director of Finance and Administration at the Sector Ministry, Rosemary Abbey, says it will be a step in the right direction if investors express interest in the industry. Anybody who invests in aquaculture, it's a, it's a venture that uh, has a returns which is very high. So anybody who invests in aquaculture hasn't lost or misplaced their money in any way. The good returns that would come forth. And it is also going to provide job opportunities for others. As they invest, we would have the opportunity to invest more in the sector, get gears, required gears that will help the fishing sector to grow. Because if you don't use the right gear, it means you are going to catch stocks that are very small. So once we invest in it, we are able to get the right gears that will involve inform the fishers to do the right fishing and do the right fishing methods so that we can get enough fish for our stocks level. She shared more light on the upcoming fish festival. The National Fish Festival is slated for 24th and 25th of November 2022. The venue being the Independence Square, that is the formerly Black Star Square, yes. The fish festival, as we all know, has the main objective of promoting what our fishers do. Over the years, they have contributed a lot to our food um, security. And so they being our contributing agent for national development when it comes to gross domestic products of the economy, we thought it wise to have an occasion where we would showcase what they have been doing over the years and then how their work will also impact on the livelihoods of the people in the country. Reporting for City News, my name is Philip Nihilate.